What's up, y'all? It's your boy B. Weddles, man. I'm representing the Kingdom Global. And I just want to give y'all, this is our my, my third selection of institutional, um, our strategy with the British Pound. And what I'm doing is just, um, I was playing with TradingView. And um, when I was playing with it, I seen that you could actually compare the crosshairs and give you even a more accurate analogy where I didn't have to flip through uh, multiple uh, like I had to keep keep selecting over and over and flipping back and forth between pairs to get you kind of to see the scenario, right? And so uh, what we have here, this is today, uh, March 19th, um, which is uh, powerful, powerful stuff, man. I want you to look at the cross here. Uh, if you can see it, this thin line here, that's right here to the left. I want you to see that, and when you see that, um, you can see the when I, when I talk about the correlation between the euro and the British pound, and then I have the U.S. dollar index also. So I finally came to the conclusion I'm going to trade one pair uh, for a period, and uh, just because of the advantages and the edge that we have in the market and things like that. And see what I see here, man. If you see um, these highlighted these highlighted sections are actually times. Um, if you go to ICT. Uh, YouTube channel, he talks about um, Asian kill time, he talks about London kill time, New York kill time, but on trading you can actually uh, actually put an indicator up and actually use it um, so it can be automated. Um, with that in mind, what you have is you can see is you can see, um, let's just use our this prior price action uh, with the Asian kill time. And so what you have here, um, particularly what you see is um, something very profound, how you see how this made a low, right? And you look at the cross here, the U.S. dollar index also made a high, and the GPP also made a high. Now, something to pay attention to, and I said this in the previous videos, is the supply, the supply. So if you know that there's supply uh, and a demand for the, for the pound at this zone, right? And the supply of euros here. So when price pushed up, they said, okay, we at a price point where there's a higher demand for the British pound at this price. Price pushes up at this price point, and then reverses back down to this price point. Now, um, we could use basic support and resistance ideas to kind of give us an idea of what's taking place. And so it pushed down to this, to this uh, support level, right? And at that same exact time, we have price pushing up, showing, showing that the pound was being demanded and being supplied to this price. You get that? It's demanded and supplied. You know, and, and you see euro was demanded, but then the supply of the pounds was greater, and it pushed down. Now, when we use this for the euro, do the British pound U.S. dollar, you can see the correlation of these highs, these highs, you see how this moved into a resistance. This black dotted line is the weekly open. It moves into this resistance and then pushes down. At the same time, it, it moves into this area and pushes up. Euros get strong, pound gets weak, dollar gets strong. Same time, dollar gets strong. So now we got two powerful, powerful correlations that's going along with our one little pair that we're trading and so we want to use the correlations in conjunction with supply and demand the balance and imbalances in the market or if you don't know supply and demand or balances or imbalances or all these different concepts just use basic support and resistance and know where your support and resistance levels are at and if you do that we if we go to the uh to the line chart Maybe we can draw support resistance, right? You see where the weekly open, there's support there. And then price comes back to that. That's that's classic support resistance. So 
use this in conjunction because there's multiple energies in the market and you want them all to line up. And that's key. You want all your energies in the market to line up. Now, if we just do correlation by itself, then we could be faked out, uh, you know, see this consolidation after the open. And here you see a rally, and you see the rally, uh, it rally pretty much at the same time. But my whole point of the matter is, is you want to use multiple energies all at once. That way you can get a greater idea of, you know, having a probability and having confidence in your trade. All this information does is give you more confidence, and it gives you an edge in the market that nobody has. I have not seen anybody talk about this. I've been trying to find someone who talk about it on youtube no one's talking about this i got so many tricks that can blow your account up i got so many tricks that can make us uh you know just give us the advantage of the markets to give us an edge give us a perspective and so man i hope you like this i try to make this quick but go back and back test this uh if you want to know the indicator um comment in the sec comment in the down low in the sections and let's get a conversation going. I'll give you the, the uh, trading view indicator uh, and which one I like the most and why I like it and how I had to make some adjustments to some of them. But, yeah, man, I mean, when you go back and back test this, man, it's, you, you, you have something very profound. You have something very unique, and it gives you an edge in the markets. I hope you all really enjoyed this. God bless you all. See you all on the other side. Yes.